in 35 minutes, there's a bus that leaves to Houston. Metro bus doesn't drive weekends. My calves are cramping. All I've done is walk the last couple of days. Now I'm running. Oh my God. It's Saturday. So I guess they don't come on Saturday. And I ran here like an idiot. I hate the bus. I hate the bus so much. I really hate this because I feel like I'm making no progress. It's $35 for a ticket to Houston. Hello, good morning, and welcome to day 41. And I am so, so tired. How did we go from yesterday's episode waking up in a bed? It was frantic and it was chaotic, but I will take that any day over this because I slept on a bench last night and I got like an hour of sleep. I'm so tired. It is currently 4.30 a.m. and we gotta walk over back to the parking garage because in 35 minutes, there's a bus that leaves to Houston. Let's get over there. It's a 20 minute walk. The reason I'm leaving early is because I feel like this. And I feel like if I don't leave early, I'm not gonna make it there in time. The bus should be here soon. I hope, I think. I don't know how this bus stuff works, but it's really loud here. I don't think a bus is coming. It's 5.30. It was scheduled for 5.05. And then on the website, or our Google Maps, said 5.15. I know the bus driver said yesterday, Metro bus doesn't drive weekends, but they said the other ones do. They literally told me to show up here. If the bus ladies got it wrong, what chance does a 16 year old have to get it right? We gotta figure this out. I hate the bus system. 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 Where am I supposed to go? I am here. Your bus is not here. Bro, that is not what you told me this morning. I am here at the bus station and the time says here, but bus, no here. I don't know how all these systems work and these bus lines. I don't know if I show up at this next bus stop. I'm not about to walk another five plus miles to get to another bus station just for them to tell me or not even show up. They're not gonna tell me because they're just not gonna be there. I hate the bus system. This is why I walk everywhere. At this point, I'm gonna walk to downtown. It's like a hundred miles, but I don't care. How much miles is that? I'm debating it. Downtown Houston, walk. It's only 27 miles, guys. Do we do it? I can get there by nighttime. I can get there by 3.30 p.m. So let's just say because I'm hobbling and my foot hurts, let's say I get there by five. Guys, forget the bus system, I'm gonna walk. I can get there by five o'clock. I'm gonna go inside this parking lot, I mean parking garage, and I'm gonna sleep. There's six floors, so I'm gonna go on like the fourth one. That way I'm like, out of people's way. And we just rest my head on my backpack and go to bed. So I'm a little more rested and we are walking over to the other bus stop. This whole bus system is confusing. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but even the bus ladies told me there was gonna be a bus there this morning. There was no bus. You know yesterday, how we walked five, six miles, whatever, to get over here? Yeah, this bus is one mile from the location we went from yesterday, but not towards us, one mile in the opposite direction. So we have to walk five, six miles back to that hotel just for us to walk another mile to get to that bus stop. And then we're at our destination. And then we can take an hour and a half bus ride down to downtown Houston, and then we can start selling stuff. Holy crap, I'm tired. It is currently 9 a.m. Supposedly the bus leaves at 2.35. If that's accurate, I don't know. But only one way for us to find out and that's for us to get there. I'll see you guys in like seven, eight miles. Of course I walked down a dead end. Cause you know, like, why not? Okay, so we have 1.2 miles left in our walk. The bus station is right over there. One more mile, obviously. Right now we are passing by a Walmart. And it's on the way and I'm debating between three things. It is currently 10.45 in the morning and the bus, it leaves at 2.45. So either A, I stay here at Walmart and I wait three hours before I walk over to the bus or B, the hats just fell on the floor. Okay, good thing they're in a box. Anyway, or B, 
I walk to the bus stop now and I just wait there from 10.45 to 2.45. Or C, I walk a quarter mile out of my way that way and I can sit inside the mall. And if I sit inside the mall, I can make sure my phone is charged, my microphone is charged. I think we're gonna walk the quarter mile out of our way and sit in the mall because we do have four hours. So we can sit in the mall for three hours, maybe get some more shut eye. We're gonna hit a light jog because I stayed in Katie Mills longer than I should. So, I'm not gonna record on the way. I'm just gonna get there because I don't wanna miss the bus. My calves are cramping. All I've done is walk the last couple of days. Now I'm running. Oh my God. I'm here, out of breath, but I'm here. It's this tiny little sign. This tiny little sign is the bus stop. And I'm sitting here walking around here not knowing what it is or where to go. So like I said, I've never ridden a bus before. So I'm five minutes early, but no one else is here. So it's a little concerning. I hate the whole process of finding it. I hate the process of booking it. I hate the process of all of it. I hate the bus. So we have a problem. I walked over to just across the street. There is a subway right here connected to a gas station, a little quieter so I can record this. So I go inside the gas station that the, the sign is connected to and I'm like, hey, uh, do you guys know what time the bus is supposed to get here? And they're like, uh, bus hasn't got here yet. Sometimes they are late, sometimes they're not. And I wait outside the bus station for 20, 30 minutes and I walk back in there and they're like, yeah, they probably won't show up. What? And they're like, yeah, it's Saturday. So I guess they don't come on Saturday, but there's another bus coming at 5.05. So yesterday we missed the Metro bus by 15 minutes. This morning we show up to the bus stop that the bus drivers told us to go to and no bus ever showed up. And then we came over to this one for no bus to show up. And now we're gonna get a different bus that's scheduled to be here at 5.05. If this bus does not work, we are gonna wait until Monday to go to Houston. We're gonna wait here for two hours until the 5.05 bus comes here. And then we can take a bus into Houston, but because this is a different one, it's not straight to the place I wanted to go. So I gotta take another like smaller bus once we get there. And oh my God, it's, I hate the buses. I hate buses. And I ran here like an idiot, feeling like I missed the bus back in junior high and I'm trying to get to school on time. No, I I hate the bus. I hate the bus so much. Subway has no outlet in it, so we're gonna walk over to McDonald's and we're gonna go sit in there for a little bit. Okay, we're walking over to the bus stop right now we just left mcdonald's our phone's all charged up i really hate this because i feel like i'm making no progress because i keep on having to change what bus i'm trying to go to change where i'm going walk everywhere and i just feel like i'm making no progress and i hate it i don't like this feeling but hopefully we can get all these hats sold and it'll all be worth it because i'm hungry we didn't eat yesterday so once we sell these hats we'll eat a little bit let's go over to the bus stop i see it right now we're almost there I am so beyond pissed off right now. You have no idea how mad I am right now because the bus that just showed up just barely, they're waiting to scanning tickets and I'm like, hey, here's my situation. They told me if I came to you right here that you could help me. He's like, yeah, no problem. It's $35 for a ticket to Houston, $35. I looked at Lyft and Uber. Lyft and Uber cost 30. How is a bus with 20 plus people on it more expensive than a Lyft or an Uber. That doesn't make any sense. I hate the bus. I hate the bus. So what we're gonna do tonight, we're staying in this area as we normally do. We're gonna walk the mile and a half, mile-ish, back over to Katie Mills. So we're sticking to the Metro. I feel like I've just wasted all of yesterday and all of today. I'm like actually mad that I've wasted all this time when I could be doing stuff. I could be selling this. So I tried to go to 7-Eleven and like cheer myself up by getting food and like stress eating, I guess you can call it. The 325 two taco deal, they were out of taco stuff. So I picked up pork rinds instead. That scared the living hell out of me. Anyway, I'm a little disappointed we didn't get actual food. If anything, I'm 
still carrying this box around because I just, I can't get to Houston. So that kind of screwed me over. Hey, these pork rinds are pretty good. <laughs>